Hey what's up guys, it's Marquez from the MKBHD channel, back with a video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a very, very alpha application. That is, before beta, it's a first release of a brand new app on the Android market called Status Plus, or Status Bar Plus. Now there are two versions of this. The one I'm demonstrating for you today is the free version, which gives you a very, very basic view, a pretty basic idea of what this does. And keep in mind we're using this on the granddaddy of our mobile devices here at Droid Dog, the original Motorola Droid. So you know it is very, very compatible and uh, will work on a variety of devices without any performance issues. But basically what this app does, it is allows you to change your notification bar up here without root access. This is a rooted device, but you don't need root to change your notification bar. So I'll go ahead and open the app right here. This is the app icon that you get. And this is the free version, so like I said, it's a very, very, very basic look at what you get. You can toggle it on and off. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. And you can see that this is the custom notification bar up here. So there are a few interesting things to note about this. Number one, it is not the actual notification bar, so pulling it doesn't allow you to manually control how far you drag it. That does not work. But when you swipe, the notification bar comes down. Again, this doesn't require root access at all, so this is pretty unique that you have the ability to do this. Also, you saw when I tapped the notification bar before, you got some information. Go ahead and tap it again. You see these, they kind of jiggle into place there, but you get your battery indicator, your 3G indicator, and Wi-Fi is on. And after a while, those auto-hide, just like that, they fly right back up top. So again, you get a quick preview of how much battery life and what kind of signal you have left, <clears throat> just without it, with the tap of the button. So again, you can go ahead and swipe down just like that. You can swipe up normally, that's, that's fine, because this is the actual notification tray. But you can't swipe down manually, you only have the ability to swipe it all the way down. Uh, also, another thing I noticed is that when you have certain notifications, they don't show up in the top of this custom notification bar. So you do have to swipe down to see if you have any new emails or texts or things like that. Which actually wasn't a big deal to me because of the way I use my phone, but uh, for certain people that might be a problem. But again, this is a notification bar, so you should be able to view the most amount of information possible. But either way, this is also present on the lock screen. As you can see when I unlocked my phone at the beginning, this is the regular uh, the regular notification bar, then as soon as you unlock, you get the status bar plus notification bar. Last thing I'll show you is that it does have its own little section up here in the ongoing notifications, where if you tap it, you can toggle whether it's on or off or not. But I highly encourage you to check this out. If you like the concept, go ahead and go with the paid version because this gives you a little bit more functionality where you can choose the colors and certain things that show up in the top here and things like that. Highly recommend this application, but like I said at the beginning, it's very, very alpha. It's a, a brand new build. I'm sure the developer is working hard to make the best of this application. Again, this is Status Bar Lite. It is available, or Status Bar Plus Lite. This is available in the Android market for free right now, or you can check out the paid version by scanning the QR code below on this Droid Dog article. That's basically it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.